Hello, Randy Rain here, and look what I have. This is Buck. You know those big billy bass, the singing fish? Well, the company that made those also made this crazy thing. And it's pretty much the same thing. It sings songs and moves around and whatnot. And it's not working. Parts of it work, parts of it doesn't. Uh, no, the ears are not working correctly, and it's supposed to move side to side, and that doesn't seem to be working either. It takes this big giant AC adapter here that puts out 9 volts at 3 amps. So the interesting part with this not working, you immediately think that they're split gears. But then you think, well, those little tiny gears are running this giant thing? I don't know. wonder what's inside that's broken that's not making this go. Well, let's open it up and find out. Okay, you move them on and I'll head them up. Get it? Head up like up a wall. <laughs> okay, the only screws I see are on the back of this thing. Mm-hmm. Eh, gotcha. Well, here's the circuit board. Some of these are going into the motors. I'm sure that's a motor. These are all motors. But there's also these wires here that are going to where I need to go. These unplug, but these are actually glued in. Probably just going to end up cutting those and then soldering them back. This is obviously a remote control. So there's a remote for this thing somewhere. Oh yeah, it comes with the mic. Because there's a mic out, DC. That's what that is. That's for the microphone. It's going to have to unbolt here. And then here's all the wires going to where I need to go. I'm going to give these things a marking. So I know that means these are all glued in place. So I am just going to cut them. Got a 10 millimeter socket. That's not all of it, huh? Screws as well. Oh, so I gotta take all this off. Now why would you put that underneath? And of course this circuit board has to come off stupidly enough. one don't want to come out there we go there it is I'll just take some prying I guess taking these screws off are next Maybe this whole skin comes off? I don't know. I think this calls for the screw gun. Oh, got a little broken tab there. A little screw mount. Got another one here. 
Another one there. Another one. There's another one. And the ones that haven't broke are about to. That's possible. It's going to have to separate some way. Okay, all I can see to do is just start taking this stuff off so I can at least get in there to see what's going on. But I better mark it all. Jeez, this thing is hard to maneuver and show it on camera. It's freaking impossible. Sorry. I just come off. Thank you. Well, that makes it much easier to get these stupid things off of there. somewhere uh. well how in the world there are. All right, I have looked and I've looked to see how in the world you can possibly do this, but you can't. These ears are connected here, and this is, there's no way. And I thought for sure, oh, it must have been a secret behind here, but it wasn't. But I did cut through it, and I've been able to get unscrew this one. That's the only way I can see to do this. Screw right here on either side of this thing. So that's f both of them for free. Maybe this can come off now. <sighs> yeah. There is no way was that was coming off without that I can see this one doesn't want to move but that one will
go in here. And you go in here. Ah, that slipped down. It wasn't engaging both of them. That's what it be. Probably because it's cracked. That'd be your tin tooth. And it is, of course, cracked. say the ears are good to go. Move over here to this mouth. Make sure everything's good on the mouth. It's working, but if there's a tin tooth on this thing, it's going to go sooner or later. you to come off anyway. Nope, that one looks perfectly good. I don't even see it's trying to crack actually, but I'm going to replace it anyway. Okay, so here are the ear pieces. I see now. I had a feeling that these things were snapped in there, but I wouldn't know how in the world to do it. So, so this. Yeah. Okay, so these ear pieces get put in there like that. They get snapped in. I had a feeling that's what they were but I could not see what it took to make it happen. And I don't know how you're going to get in there to, to do that. So this thing is like a medical prosthetic or something. That's what it reminds me of. And basically, you have your base. And I went ahead and glued these little, all the stuff that was broken. I don't know how good that's going to be, but I glued it back. But you have a base here, and the base has these metal rods. These are spring steel, and there's several of them, so that this thing can move around. And then this just fills up the bulk. And then you have these cables. And one pulls it down and up and lets it come back up. The other one's supposed to pull it side to side. And then there's like these fancy springs in here to just kind of help it keep go back to center. So there's just springs under this velvet here. And so the one to pull this down seems to be working. Just the one that goes side to side isn't. And that one is right here. You can see those smaller wires are for an IR sensor. And so, I don't know if you see it in there. There's this thing here is just tied in two places. So step one, I'm going to untie this. Looks like they might have put some glue on this to keep it from coming untied. 
powerful motor. That's a strong magnet on there. correctly my god there's enough grease in here I don't even have to show you the crack in that one and it even has that little ridge around there Imagine somewhere here is halfway. Okay, I'm going to put some power to this motor. That would have blocked it, and that would have been center. Interesting, this one has the center as well. Well, I don't hate this part of the design. It's not bad getting in here if this comes off just like the other one. Here is why this one works still. It doesn't use a 10 tooth gear in that position. Much bigger gear. You know, I'm not even going to worry about that one. That one's just fine. Oh, this is a crazy contraption. <laughs> I like this. I just noticed these are melted holes that they drilled through this for these things. I think the first thing to do is to put this head back on. Here, here, here. And these went there. Time to skin this deer. 
And I've never skinned a deer one way or another. Let's go. Look at the hell. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is hard. Right. You know what? I can still get to those ears. I'm taking them out. Let's see if I can. Maybe if I baby powder everywhere. How the hell did I get this off so easy? So I guess the only thing to fix this, because I believe it's silicone, and it's just more silicone. So you better believe I'm tired of lugging this thing around. This was a lot of work, but it's working perfectly now. And I'm going to show you, but if you hear any kind of silence or anything in it, it's because I got a copyright strike, but we'll see. Here we go. Okay. You move them on and I'll head them up. Get it? Head up like up a wall. <laughs> Gypsies, we went down the highway. Obviously, that was a mistake. On the road again. Everything's all right. Just say good night, and I'll show myself to the door. Could could somebody help me down? You'll never hear me complain, cause I got friends. You can touch the fur, ladies. I'm so soft. Have mercy. Attention all fellow deer. If you find deer feed in the middle of the forest, be a bit suspicious. Big wheels keep on turning, even after they clobber a poor defenseless deer, but I'm not bitter. Now, how do you roll a doggie? Well, I don't know, but keep it up. 
So the Gimme, Jimmy, I don't know how you pronounce this company's name, but this is the buck, the singing and talking deer. You know, they made the big Billy Bass, the singing fish and all that stuff. So now if you know how, want to know how to fix one of these, there you go. If you like this video, I sure would appreciate a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, of course, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people here. These are patrons. These are the people showing you bringing you all this information on how and what's inside of one of these crazy things. So if you're fixing one of these things or you enjoyed this video and you like this kind of stuff, thank these people right here. And if you'd like to be one of those people that is thanked, well, you can go join Patreon. There's of course, there's a link and all that stuff. Anyway, there it is. The big talking, singing buck. Thanks for watching. The little protective seal was never taken off. I think I've earned it. Oh yeah.